Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upright and Corner. We have Mintax starting as the Brown Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have React starting as the Black Protoss. This is going to be on Butter. And this is game three between the two of them, part of BSL Season 14, Hustle League, a round of eight. Better the chatter getting blocked out by. Uh, it's too bad I wish I could translate that for you. Maybe someone out in chat land can. Or in YouTube land. Anyway. Good competitors between the two of them. React showing a lot of strong play thus far. Feels like he got his grounding back in the last match, and we'll see if he shows more of the same. This is on Butter, a two-player map. This is one of those maps that I... Between the two, I might favor Mitak because Mitak has had... Or we've seen Mitak have a lot of successes with those early aggressive plays. This is a good map for executing a 973. If he just opts to go 973 regardless, might end up playing out for him. We'll see what he opts to do. Re React has often opened up gateway first in a lot of these matches. And we'll see if he's opting to do the same. He is keeping the probe on site, which suggests we are going to, in fact, see that. No Overlord planting. It looks like we're going to see another 9 hatchery from Mitak. So let's see if this is a repeat of game 1 or if React has a little bit more cohesion when it comes to seeing this. Well, cohesion is not the right word. If you react, I, the thing is, I don't want to say the. It, we want to see if React reacts properly, because you get the double whatever. I'm gonna say it though. We're gonna see if React reacts properly to the nine hatch. So seeing the secondary morph stage as he's moving in, he should be able to recognize. Okay, this is now a nine hatch, which means he. The first zealot can wander out a bit, but the second and the additional zealots need to stay back, and he needs to not plop down that nexus first. Otherwise, it can be a very risky situation. Moving up, sees the overlord. Otherwise, gets a little bit of a poke there. Spawning pool now on the way. Trying to do what harassment he can. So there's the first zealot. And we'll see if the zealot stays at home or if it does make its way across to get aggressive. Midtack previously with this build, we saw him go for... 10 Zerglings to open to get absolutely huge amount of map control in the early game, which actually, on Butter, could be significant. Probe taking a few hits. The shields just about half. He's doing a pretty good job of being annoying and slowing down Mitex economy just ever so slightly by forcing him to micro bit. So this, where the second Zealot goes, I think, will be the big indicator. And whether a Nexus plops down, looks like we're seeing an additional pylon in base. So that is three pylons down, which suggests we're not going to see so preparing for that rather than going to rely on the Nexus uh, supply. And it looks like we are seeing the full grouping of 10 Zerglings. The probe wandering out to the natural expansion, trying to get some harassment done. Looks like the Zealot is going to be there, but it's going to be there. Let's see if... Yeah, Mitek's defense. Mitek now wandering these drones back towards... For a second there, I thought he was going to make them all the way back to kind of draw them into these Zerglings. But it looks like instead, this four Zerglings just going to make their way straight to the natural expansion. Two Zealots already there. It looks like a Nexus was plopped down. But yeah, additional Zealots were holding at home base, so it looks like this could be defended. An interesting mid tack is ignoring his defense at home base, is continuing to produce Zerglings, and actually is just going to rush it. So this is a big risk on his part, because he's just taking all of his Zerglings, rather than trying to deal with this Zealot and probe at all. He's just gunning all of the Zerglings towards the front. Perhaps because he did see this Nexus warping in. The Zerglings trying to force their way through. The first Zealot solo against three. Now trading off. Three Zealots are there now at the National Expansion. But all Zerglings, except for one, able to breach the corner. Probes have pulled off the line. More Zerglings are streaming forward. There's only one Zealot remaining. A cannon trying to warp in. Mitek is not microing there, however, because he's taking losses at his main. Potentially, yeah, still taking losses at his main. So he needs to win it. With these Zerglings alone, it looks like that Photon Cannon might warp in, so Midtech being sufficiently distracted, potentially by that Zealot, which looks like it's been taken care of, but all in all, it looks like React getting the much better exchange overall. Even getting two leftover shots on the Overlord, and that is going to be a very quick match, because Midtech is left, because he ignored that Zealot, because he ignored that probe, that has left him with just six drones remaining. He's going for a continuation attack with these Zerglings. Continuing to rush down. It looks like the Zerglings still able to get through somehow. Able to peck that cannon down. Continuing to work on the additional cannon here. 
but the advantage is still to react. More probes pulling off the line. There's still just two Zerglings, and they're quickly cleaned up. Two more Zerglings now pecking away at the Forge on the exterior, and things looking grim now for Midtech. He has dedicated an immense amount of Zerglings. He's all in Zerglings at this stage. They do not have speed. Yeah, he needs to win it on a follow-up attack here. Two more cannons being plopped down. React pulling probes to help defend on this line. As long as he defends, he will end up winning this match just because of his economy. Continuing to build. So he's basically got twice the worker count. Mitek has gone all in with the Zerglings. React has paused briefly in Zealot production. And now there are two cannons and it looks like that might be too much. So maybe one last hurrah of Zerglings from Mitek to try to punch through this front door. But if, if he's unsuccessful in that attack, that is certainly going to be game. Three Zealots actually even going to... Ooh, this might be a mistake from React. The Zerglings cycling around, trying to move out of vision range. However, they were not spotted. The rest of the Zerglings pressing forward. Two cannons are there to greet them, plus the pros, plus the Zelts, however. And it looks like, yeah, the rest of them going to get smashed in. And now the Zelts just going to free march. And there's GG for mid -tack. So a quick... So this time... React responding extremely... Responding, that's the word I should have used. <laughs> React responding extremely well to mid 9-hatch opener, and he's going to take the victory very convincingly. We will move on to game four momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.